My name is Wilfred Abincha. I'm going to take you through this tutorial. Kindly subscribe. Like. I'm going to talk about two experimental designs, which is split plot design and a strip plot design. Sometimes these two designs can be confusing. However, I want to differentiate them. The arrangement of split plot design and strip plot design are different because split plot design has main plot factors and subplot factor, while strip plot has column factor and row factor. One common thing about these designs is that both the designs are two factor designs. For example, if a researcher wants to know if there will be uh, an increase in yield after planting, uh, after planting a leguminous plant due to uh, fix fixing of nitrogen in the soil, the researcher will want to plant green grams. Then after planting green grams, he or she will plant the maize varieties after that to see how it performs. Then you can also plant cow peas. Then after planting cow peas, it's followed by maize varieties. And also a controller has to be there. He or she can plant in an leguminous plant, then followed by the maize. Here in this experiment, you can see we have an leguminous, uh, this cow pea and this green gram. These are the main plot factors in split plot. Because in this, the whole of this plot, there is a non leguminous plot. And also, this one is a, a, a cowpea plot. And also, this one is a green ground plot. These plots are called the main plots. Inside the main plots, we have a subplot the maize varieties, which are called A, B, C, D. They are the, the sub plots. So the these main plots consist of the first crops. The maize varieties are the sub plots. One key feature of split plot design is that in the sub in, in inside the main plot the varieties of subplots are randomized independently. That means like in this plot of non leguminous randomization is different from this one here of cowpea and also different from this one here that's why that's why you can see the arrangement of this mis variety apcd is different in non leguminous nl from cp which is cowpea is different so that's how split plot design is arranged split plot is uh, used when the researcher is interested with the subplot effect and the interaction effect. That means that the main plot effect is sacrificed so that the subplot and the interaction effects are measured with high precision. When we come to strip plots, you'll find that we have these three uh, first crops in column. And also we have the maize varieties on, on the rows here. The message down here on the columns and also here on the rows. However, this uh, column runs uh, down in a, a straight line. What I mean is that you can see in the leguminous it runs down here. And also this maize variety D runs across row. The same happens to Miss Variety B. It runs across the row. So that this column factor, which is NL, you can see, it runs down straight, and this B runs horizontally, is there perpendicular. This is not the case here in split plot. In split plot, you can find that this factor runs straight, but the this across here horizontally, you find C, B, A. So the importance of strip plot is that it's used 
when the researcher is interested with the interaction. What it means that interaction is measured with high precision than either the column effect or the effects or of, of rows. To analyze these uh, designs using R, um, let me set a working directory. And uh, the next thing we do, you use this package called Agricoli. Install this package called Agricoli and then load it to the library. After that, then we, we you can clear your uh, uh, environment uh, or remove graphics or clear the console using uh, these commands. After that, mine is clean, so I'm not going to do that. After that, you, we import our data of quality data. Read, uh, you use this command to import and uh, uh, you can view the data. You can see these are blocks here. We have, they can, call, they can be replications. There are five. And the first crop is the row factor. This is if we are looking at this data on strip plot perspective. First crop um, is the, uh, is the uh, column factor and the maze genotypes. These are the row factors. But if we look this data in terms of split plots, the first crop is the main, uh, main plots. And the mixed varieties are the subplots. So this data can be viewed differently as a strip plot or a split plot. You first of all we see the structure of this data, and uh, you find that we want block, uh, we want first crop and this mixed genotype to be factors. They are not. Then we use as dot factor to convert them into factors. Let's do that. Then if we see the structure again, you can see this first crop, there are factors now. Now we can go to analyze our data. We use this model one, because I want to compare two ways of, or two, two ways of uh, doing this analysis. The first one, I call it model one. Um, use with, into bracket data. This is our data set. You remember we called it the data there. After importing it, we call it the data. Then you would type strip plot. To tell R that we are doing strip plot design, then you put you write block because we 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 had the reps which are blocks. Then you put the the first crop which was the column factor and the maze unit type which was the row factor row factor and the response variable which is uh, yield. Then if we run yes if we run this uh, successfully. Here, this response is yield. You can see we have the first crop, which is the column factor. It is here, and this its error times here. The the row factor, which is genotype, it is here. It's significant. Then the interaction, is, which is here is not uh, significant. Also, its error term is here. We have three error terms for column factor, which is here, row factor, which is here, and the interaction. Term, which is here. Also, you can uh, run this analysis um, by using another model here, which is called the model 2. First of all, you attach this data. You attach the data. Uh, uh, then you run this, this model 2. You write strip.plot. Then you specify block is block. We wrote now whatever block like this. Column is first uh, this uh, column factor which is first a uh, crop row which is a uh, mass genotype and our response variable which is here you'll then you you run you can see we have the same same results it's here so we can analyze this data again as uh, split plots you we call it model 3 you write width into bracket you write the data uh, then Use sp.plot. This one will tell R to analyze this as a split plot. Then you specify a block, then the main uh, plot factor, uh, then the subplot factor and the response vari variable. Then you run. You get, we have the first crop, uh, which is the main plot factor. Uh, it's here, it's not significant, and it's error times here. Then you find the 
tab plots factor which is mate genotype and also the interaction is here and uh, their error terms here thank you very much i, I hope this was helpful